All right. Well, today is Sunday. It's uh, another beautiful day out, uh, April 7th. So, um, yeah, really nice day out up here in northern Michigan. A little chilly, but not too bad. It's like it was like 36 degrees out, and I was out in the car with the window down, sunroof open, rocking out with my with my dog. But uh, it's kind of funny how November is 36 degrees. It's differently than April's 36 degrees, you know, like November, we're all covered up and, and freezing and April comes. We're out here in a, in a Carhartt flannel with the windows down. This is some Def Leppard crazy, but we're going to wash my bike today. Not a big detail, nothing crazy. And uh, really, I'm, I'm just kind of bored. <laughs> so, but I do like using this stuff. It was from Chemical Guys. Um, I haven't used the honeydew quite yet, but, uh, this stuff is great. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by chemical guys. They don't even give me anything. They don't know anything about me at all. So I just really, really, really believe in their products. It's, it's a good, it's a good, uh, product to use on, on anything on your, on your, any vehicle, ATV, your boat, your motorcycle, your scooter, whatever you got. This stuff, uh, it works good. And I feel for the money, it's the best bag for the buck. Um, and as my wife says, how my wife picks like, you know, Super Bowl winners, she goes off of their, their uniforms and they got a pretty badass fucking, you know, their logo's pretty cool. So if that logic, it has to be good. But yeah, we're going to uh, pour this into my non-chemical guys armor all sprayer. Um, I had a really nice sprayer. I said this in the video before, but uh, I ran it over with my truck. But uh, this Armor All one, it does okay. I mean, it's it's pretty good for for what it is. You know, it, it's it's uh it's pretty nice. There's a nozzle that goes on the end of your hose, a little gun shooter, a quick release on here. You can set the the different, you know, for water or for more foam. Yeah, it it's it's not too bad. So I like it, but uh. Wouldn't mind being in a market for a little bit of a better one. But uh, so if you have any suggestions on on these, what you guys use, hit me up below. Let me know. Um, I said this thing was make maybe 25, 30 bucks. But uh, again, it does fine. And there's, again, there's a little thing on here for, you know, your hose or for your power washer. But, uh, you know, I'm always looking for better products to use. So, um, yeah. So let's go over to the, to the Ultra, get you all set up and... Uh, we're just going to do a little bit of, it's a light bath today. I lied, we're not going over to the Ultra yet. Um, I was reading the directions on the stuff and it, you know, obviously you gotta shake it really good. And uh, it says to use one to two ounces per five gallons of water. So that's not quite five gallons, it's about 40 ounces. So we're gonna do some math. I think I'm just gonna put an ounce in and see what happens. <laughs> Is that a rhetorical point, or would you like to do the math? I'd like to do the math. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, it has a little seal on top. You pop it open. Oh, by the way, if you didn't watch the last video, if you have, um, my wife does watch my videos, and I got yelled at about using the butter knife for prying. So I don't think she wants this one back anymore, though. <laughs> Anyways, all right, now we're going to go over the altar. So I had to fill this up with water and I ran inside the kitchen to fill it up when I have literally have water in my garage. I'm a special, special boy. Anyways, we're out here. My neighbors don't think I'm batshit crazy, but you know, she's pretty. I love this bike. This old beat up jalopy. Yeah. So you just put this on, on this device you know you got your your power washer or your hose and then this thing up top here controls how much boobage you got so i'm gonna try to get some boobage out of it so we're gonna go that way that way means more boobage and then uh again this thing's kind of broke too it used to shoot pretty good now not so much but uh whatever it's embarrassing I gotta cover up my air filter. I'll be right back. Good old Meyer sack there. All right. 
this foamage doesn't really foam as well. Now normally on my like super quick detail or my super detailed detailing washes of the bike, I, I jack the bike up again underneath the bike really good. Um, I just did that not too long ago. So I'm not overly worried about it. And I did spray the bike off after every ride um, over this winter really well to get all the salt and make sure all that stuff was off it. But um, again, usually we take the bags off. We get down in there really good. I'm not gonna really going to be doing that until probably next month doing a, a, a once a year or twice a year deep deep clean of the bike i like to do it in the early spring i like to do it again in the fall so um that way because we're up here in northern michigan the bike sits well for the most part the bike sits from december to april but every once in a while we get out you know in december we get out in january we get out in february when the days allow us to do it but um recent years has been more so but in the past usually we have two three four five feet of snow on the ground so um this year i don't even think we even hit even close to our our annual snowfall but um it was an easy year i say i got the uh the boss plow over there for the f-350 that's really only got used for a couple of weeks this uh this winter to uh to plow at job sites and you know the old driveway here so um Northern Michigan is slowly becoming like Southern Ohio weather type stuff. So, um, is what it is, but yeah, so we're going to keep on keeping on with this and uh, we'll get back with you in a minute. All right. So a few weeks ago, I went to, uh, what shade tree surgeon calls the people's Republic of Harbor freight. And I picked up this little guy from grants. So microfiber hand towel goes right inside there. Good for washing. So we'll, uh, We'll give her a good wipe down. So what I like doing with this is using one side to wipe down when, when it's soapy. This thing will only touch the paint on the bike. Um, I have other other microfibers I use for the chrome, things like that. And then I'll go back through, rinse it off, flip this over, and then use the other side, the dry side, if you will, to uh, help dry the bike off one last time. That's after I use my handy dandy leaf blower to get the excess uh water off all right so now that the bike is all washed off it's soaked um and rinsed off now as you can see it's time to get out the old turquoise blowy machine <laughs> the key to 9000 this thing does pretty good i use this to clean out my garage that's about it it does hit off the driveway a little bit of grass clippage in your driveway but uh it does a great job pretty powerful for being a battery operated uh you know 18 volt tool yeah so i like to blow it off with this and then i hand dry oh man i'm terrible <laughs> now that she's uh been blown <laughs> We uh, use some of these microfibers. Again, got these from Harbor Freight. First time I've gotten these, this brand from Harbor Freight. And we just hand dry everything down. So, um, you know, it's not anything 
I even didn't make a video about, but just showing my process. So that's it. That's a quick, just a real quick detail on it. Enough to get the grime off from yesterday's uh, 270 mile adventure. But uh, yeah, that stuff uh, works really good. It smells good too. It's a honeydew. So um, real quick thing on this seat here from CC Riders. Again, I did a, a long day yesterday. I wouldn't say a long day. I did about, again, 270 miles or so um, on this seat. And I did it on purpose. I want to see how comfortable it was. Riding down to Ludington yesterday, it did great. And I was like, hmm, let's see what it can really do. And uh, again, 270 miles. I didn't have to stop other than to get gas. My hips didn't hurt. My back didn't hurt. My butt felt fine. Um, again, for $280, that's a great seat to get. It's far beyond um, the stock Harley seat that they come with. So, and it looks really good. This stuff is just, again, it's a brand new seat, but, you know, it's almost like it's a tear resistant, scratch resistant surface. You can't, you can't scratch that, you know, unlike other seats. So, um, I'm pretty damn happy with it. The only thing I wish I would have asked for with this was the, uh, was the backrest. But uh, I don't plan on keeping this seat. I'm going to give this seat away to a brother of mine. He's going to do a very long, long-term long review on it for me and get back with me on the channel here. And uh, he's going to give me his thoughts. But uh, again, for 280 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. Um, I thought for sure it was going to be like a round town type seat. And it, it truly is a, a decent seat to go long distance on. And um, they're not paying me to say that. You know, they did give me a free seat, which is awesome, but uh, I have no obligation to those these people, you know, so I wouldn't put it on here and, and tell you guys it's good if it wasn't good. I have other products that I have been sent or stuff I have bought to review, and they just absolutely sucked, and I just don't put them on my channel because I don't want to bash anybody. That's uh, somebody's job. That's a business, you know, so there's always room for improvement, but uh, if I don't review it um, in a positive way, you know, or if it's not worth me reviewing in a positive way, I just don't do it. So I appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. So one more thing before we actually say goodbye. The uh, little girl who just moved in uh, next door there, they moved in just before uh, Christmas time. Um, she yelled across. She's like maybe four or five. Your, your bike's cool. You know, so I got that going for me. So, you know. Take that, 2024 Road Glide owners. You had jerks. Little girl says, my bike's cool. All right now. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.